What's going on guys? Bruce here and welcome back to the channel. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my Welcome back to the channel. So in the video right here you're about to see I lost most of the intro. We went to Walmart, Jonathan well, DeBlaze and I, and we picked up a Nerf gun, which we're gonna be using in future videos to mess with Ray Ray and other guys around the shop for fun. And this is pretty much just a short clip to show what, you know, us goofing off and a project we just bought today. So check it out. We got our weapon of choice picked out. Got the extra ammo. Ray Ray, you better watch your ass because it's gonna get fucking nailed. Now we're off to find some air fresheners for the bathroom. So I'm repping the AHD hat. We're gonna have these up for sale on the website. We sell them in the shop, so I don't know what's really seen in Rasmus. I don't ever wear mine. Keep my hat really nice on the dash, so I've been wearing my Suncoast hat. I've worn that hat for like a straight year, which is I'm on like a streak because I've never worn a hat that long and kept one not getting lost, destroyed, or whatever that long, so. We're right here trying to find some. We're right here trying to find some air fresheners. Just need to find one just to hang up or something. There, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got our Glade plug it in. You just can't, can't help but say, plug it in, plug it in. Isn't that for the Glade? Yeah. Plug it in, plug it in. Pretty positive. All right, so we got the Blue Odyssey. So, yep. Toss it in the bug A. We're going to walk over here to this aisle that we've all won and we've all been waiting for. I bet you guys cannot guess what aisle we're down. So we don't live in the ghetto. We're in a decent neighborhood, even though we're in Pasco County. We're still in a decent neighborhood and this shit isn't on lockdown yet. It's not on lockdown and look. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Someone's done removed the label. <coughs> Gonna die here and even ate one yet. So someone's done removed the label. And probably done ate one. But they're half gone. Look at that. I bet they're gonna see us on camera and come check us out because we're over here about to eat one. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. That's some dumbass shit. Don't fucking do that. Just don't eat Tide Pod. Like seriously? Drink bleach. You wanna do something cool? Drink bleach. Found you a hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that is all you. Let's try on another one. What else have we got going on right here? What is this? Oh, fucking A right. Check that baby out. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a Russian military guy. Or like the movies, yeah, like somebody from Russia, you're gonna kill us all. God dang Dale. There's a Dale hat, that screaming Cletus McFart can right there. Tampa Bay, so used to be Tampa Bay Devil Rays, but since everybody decided to be politi politically correct and went soft as fuck, now it's Tampa Bay Rays, everybody got butt hurt and political correctness. All right, so Jonathan and I are playing all nighter tonight and we've got a shit ton of work here in the shop. And who doesn't love Red Bull? We're not sponsored, we're not being endorsed, we're just drinking the shit out of it. So, I don't know if you've ever seen somebody shotgun a Red Bull, we're gonna try to make a fucking mess. We're already started making a little bit of a mess. So, Ray Ray in a couple videos back completely failed to shotgun a Mountain Dew. Like, failed isn't even the word for it, he just fucked that all the hell. So, I'm gonna show him a shotgun, a Red Bull. I might die. So, if you don't see me in an upload after this, you know why. Let's get this baby prime. I get the old can my finger underneath it. That is rough. Welcome to today's vlog. So we took off and we're leaving Jonathan behind. Motherfucker. <laughs> off to the shop we go. So I caved and went home. It took like a two hour nap, maybe three. Anyways, all freshened up, took, got a shower, went to my dad's shop, picked up the trailer. We're actually gonna 
picked up the trailer. I'm headed to cylinder. I'm headed to Clearwater Cylinder Head to pick up a 12 valve cylinder head, a new one for a customer. For one of the buses at the shop, that cylinder head we pulled off was actually cracked, so we're gonna have to replace it. Um, and then after that, we're heading over to pick up a 1500 gas truck. I've got a truck I'm working on building for someone that we need a perfect interior for. So this 1500 is a 96. We're getting relatively cheap. Um, Cheap enough that we can buy it and then sell it and still get our money back out of it. But get this, I mean, like when you see the truck tonight, the interior is immaculate, like freaking mint. The dat, like everything, the headliner, the interior is perfect. And the truck, all this is going into is wrecked. So it's going to work out great. We'll get all this stuff and get it swapped over into the new project truck we're working on. And like I've been telling you guys, make sure you stay tuned because we are about to be dropping a ridiculous project and a ridiculous time frame to get this thing done to go make a... I'm not going to tell you where we're going. You just got to wait and see. But make sure you stay tuned. We're headed to St. Pete now. So we're out here picking up Trashy Ray Ray's Trashy Dodge with a Magnum 360. got the trashy red dodge loaded up we're gonna go to the shop drop it off so ray ray doesn't have an excuse to actually fix it ray ray traded this truck for ryan's mustang so ray ray needs to quit being trashy and lazy and get it fixed up for ryan so now he has no excuse to not have it fixed up because it will be at the shop instead of in the dirt down to Pinellas Park we've got the new parts truck picked up the reason I bought it guys because this interior is freaking mint and this is what we're gonna need for the special truck we're about to start working on the dash top is a little cracked I'm not worried about that you can get new dash tops but the bottom part is still perfect that's all I care about even the back back here is all intact everything's good good clean headliner that's Lights up here still work as they should. I mean, everything's in amazing shape, so that's all I really cared about. So we're on track. In my last video, I seen one of you guys commented and asked if I do a video on installing injector tips on a 24 valve. So I've got some just stock injectors laying around back here in the toolbox. So let's see if I can find one without. Well, there's a copper washer on this one. So. Basically, you're gonna find a vise. What I like to use instead of clamping the injector down itself is you use the holder, as you can see right here. We'll get that clamped in the vise and put it in the vise like so. Give it a good snug. We're gonna go ahead and set the injector right there. First things first is you're gonna to want to pop the copper washer off. Usually when you buy tips they come with new copper washers. So you're going to go ahead and break the tip loose. They're very very tight. I've already taken this one loose on another vise. I've already taken this one loose on another vise. You're going to go ahead and spin this off. You got good lighting there. And you're going to screw the cap off of it like that. You want to hold the tip down so you don't lose anything. Go ahead and slide the cap off very carefully, and that reveals your tip there. Excuse the mess on the bench right now, but we'll go ahead and lay out a clean surface. Take your injector. So got good lighting. Mm -hmm. You're gonna pull your injector off, your injector tip just like that. So that's pretty much it. You're replacing the tip. And this, as you can see, this this one's garbage because the pinnel inside of it's stuck; it won't even come out. You could take the injector the rest of the way apart. Remember how you took it apart, so it doesn't. So it goes back together correctly. And you go ahead and pull the spring out of there. 
and you can take some brake clean and go ahead and clean your injector go ahead and clean your injector out so there's your injector body clean the spring go ahead and set it back down in there this is like a delivery valve if you're dealing with p-pump stuff but basically it sits inside your injector there's only one way this can go back together so you have you have three holes here this is your fuel delivery hole this is what it takes the fuel come from inside the injector to the tip make sure your injector tip is back in and lined up there's only one way it can go like I said before I'm gonna go ahead and put it just like so set that back down Grab your injector cup, there's usually lots of carbon built up on it. Clean it very, very good. Make sure you have a clean environment while you're doing all of this. And you're going to set it back on there, screw it down while holding your injector tip down. Just like so, and give it a good snug by hand. And we're going to go ahead and set your injector back on the hold down like we had before. So next you're going to go and get your torque wrench, you set a 35 foot-pounds, which is the nozzle torque, and basically torque it down, there's our holder is twisting right there, right there, that's it, and only do 35, don't go any tighter, and that's pretty much it, then you're going to go ahead and install your new copper washer and put it back in the motor. Oh, when me and Jonathan went to Walmart, we got the shelves and got everything nice and organized, we keep all kinds of intakes, cold air intakes, injectors. All kinds of cool stuff in stock, all the way from Ford, GM, and Duramax. Along with plenty of Cummins gasket sets also. And this stuff right here are some of the parts for the um, Aussie build. We got that kind of organized. Of course, the sorry drag truck is in a million pieces still. Profab has got a lot done on the Australian truck build. The owner truck actually changed the name from Arachna to Gold Rush. Um, which is pretty badass. I love the name. We're going to be doing a chrome gold wrap. It's going to look tits. It's going to be badass. Got to get some boxes cleaned up. Um, we're going to be painting the walls. I'm going to do a huge long video of a two-tone wall paint so y'all can watch us paint walls for two hours. I think that'll be a pretty cool video. I think most of you love watching people paint walls. It should be really awesome. And over here we got Ray Ray. We're doing some injectors. In this 2014 Ram 5500, we're doing some 30% over SNS injectors, full bodies. Should wake the truck up a little bit. The injectors, they could pick up some bad fuel, so we've got two of them missing, so we're gonna go and replace those. And they wanted to go ahead and upgrade them to a little bit bigger injectors, so. It'd be a nice power upgrade. Possibly better mileage, depending on how they drive it. Doubt it. It's got the owner of this truck has a heavy foot, so. In the next video, we'll do some driving videos with this truck and you'll see how it responds. So this upload is kind of all over the place. We've just been extremely busy in the shop. This has been a two, well, two days more or less since we started the video. And now I'm finally ending it. Um, the truck I was telling you, we're putting the fast on. We've got the top drink tank dropped. We're about to put it back in. We've got the fast assembled, almost ready to go back in. Yeah, so. Sorry for the long drawn out video. The next upload will be so much more organized and so much better. We made some slight renovations to the shop. You guys are gonna love this. It is gonna be the ultimate, ultimate video plug in every single vlog from today forward. So, yeah, so you're gonna love this. It was so incredibly hard to make. You have no idea. Hope you like all the time and effort that went into this. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, like and subscribe on the bathroom door after hours diesel, after hours diesel, after hours diesel. There's a little something over here, a little something something. The light kind of blurred it out, but after hours diesel. Oh, and like and subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you tune in to the next video. Until then, we will see you later.